in this next problem, we are asked to get the product of these three fractions. Again, since you will be asked to reduce the final answer to lowest terms, it will be easier if we detect the factors already so that we can cancel some of them before forming the product. So for the first fraction in the numerator, 3x squared minus 7xy, the common factor is x. If you factor x from 3x squared minus 7xy, you'll have x times quantity 3x minus 7y. In the denominator, a common factor is y cube. So y cube from the first will leave us with x squared, and y cube from the second will leave us with negative 49y squared. Now, in the next fraction, from the numerator, a common factor is 3. So if you, would, if you factor 3, you'll be left with x in the first term and positive 7y in the second. In the denominator, a common factor is x cubed. So if x cubed is factored out from the first, you'll be left with 3x and from the second, negative 7y. In the last fraction, we will leave x cubed y z squared for now. And in the denominator, a common factor is z. If z is factored, it will be left with x in the first term and negative 7y in the second. Now, if you take a look at this second factor in this denominator, you can see that x squared minus 49y squared can still be factored. It's a difference of two squares. And we can replace this with x plus 7y times x minus 7y. So we have performed the basic uh, factoring and we can now proceed to cancelling some of the common factors. So we have this x plus 7y cancel with x plus 7y here. 3x minus 7y with this 3x minus 7y. x and x cubed here is x to the fourth, which when divided by x cubed in the denominator will leave us with x. 3 will be left. This y by this y, uh, y cubed is y squared in the denominator. We have z squared by this z will give us z in the numerator. And we have x minus 7y times x minus 7y or x minus 7y quantity squared. So the product in lowest terms when you multiply these three fractions is 3xz over y squared times quantity x minus 7y squared.